Hey, welcome back to Eat More Vegans. This is Al. Today we're gonna to do something a little different. I know that we're all about eating vegans, vegan cows and vegan pigs and vegan chickens that eat corn and soybean. Every once in a while you get to eat a predator. Now, probably the least scary predator would be salmon and that's what we're gonna be doing tonight. Feel okay about eating salmon even though salmon aren't vegan because salmon eat food that's vegan. So maybe instead of being secondhand vegans, we can be thirdhand vegans. So we're gonna be doing a hot smoked salmon. That means not lox. This is actually what you're gonna eat for dinner or for lunch. You can serve it cold. It's gonna work just as well cold as it will hot, but we're gonna be smoking it unlike the lox or grav lox that you're used to, which is cured and then cold smoked for an extended period of time. This is gonna be cured just overnight, just for a few hours. Then we're gonna cook it on the smoker, get a little bit of smoke on it, and it'll be ready for dinner. So we're gonna start with four cups of cold water. We're gonna mix in a half a cup of salt. We're gonna to try to get this mixed as far as we can because we're not using hot water so the salt's not gonna develop as fast. We're gonna mix in a half a cup of brown sugar. And the sugar is also a curing agent that's gonna help the salmon to pull the moisture out. Don't worry, the salmon's not gonna be really sweet, at least not from the sugar. We're gonna do some other things that are gonna make it sweet. As a matter of fact, I really like the taste of maple syrup in my brines, and I think that while the salmon won't naturally taste like maple syrup unless we use that in our glaze, there's a hint for what's coming. This actually has a really profound impact. So we're gonna put a half a cup of good quality maple syrup. I don't wanna see you guys using that Mrs. Butterworth's or Aunt Jemima stuff for this. If you're gonna make something as good as a nice piece of salmon. Go ahead and splurge for this. So we're gonna mix that maple syrup in, get a little bit of that color, and then we're gonna zest a lemon. And this will cut a little bit of the sweetness of the maple syrup, add a little bit of acidity. All right, that should be good. So, with our brine mixed, Let's get our salmon trimmed for smoking. So we have here four really nice fillets, about two and a half pounds of wild caught Atlantic salmon. You're gonna see though that just like a salmon, you've got this nice thick part here that's gonna smoke really well and really thorough. And then you've got this end here. This is the salmon belly, this fatty part. Now, this is a delicacy, and I don't wanna take away from the value of salmon belly, but if we're gonna put this on the smoker for a couple of hours, this just isn't gonna turn out. So, I'm gonna go ahead and trim this down. There we go. Important to use really sharp knives, even when you're cutting something like fish. You don't wanna damage the meat, and you don't wanna take a risk of damaging your fingers. So, we'll go ahead and put this belly to the side. We've got four good-looking pieces of salmon. So now I'm gonna bring in, any container will do, but you don't really wanna use metal while you're curing if you can help it. We're gonna put a little bit of the brine liquid into the bottom, and then we're gonna place our salmon into the container, skin side down. And then we'll go ahead and finish filling this up. Now our salmon is floating freely in there. There's enough water to cover it as the moisture comes out. Now some magic is gonna happen overnight. We're gonna cover this up with saran wrap, my least favorite thing to do in the kitchen. And then we're gonna leave this overnight in the refrigerator. And it's actually, even though it's sitting in the water, the contents of that water now, we've got the salt and the brown sugar and the lemon rind, that's actually gonna pull the moisture out of the salmon. Now you think, we want salmon to be moist, right? Nobody wants dry salmon, but it's actually not the water that makes the salmon moist, it's the fat. Salmon is a wonderfully fatty fish. It's got great high quality fats with lots of omega-3s, and that's what's gonna make the salmon tender that's what it's gonna make it tasty. We don't want that water evaporating during the smoke. We want it to come out earlier. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in the refrigerator overnight. 
I'll see you in the morning and at that point we're gonna take it out and we're gonna dry it off and we're gonna then let it sit in the refrigerator for a while to develop a pellicle. But I'll tell you all about that when I see you in a few hours. Hey, welcome back. So we let the salmon sit in that brine for 12 hours. Could have gone a little bit less if these were thinner fillets, but they're, uh, they're, they're pretty thick fillets from the wild salmon. So, uh, so went the full 12 hours. I pulled them out. I rinsed them under cold water. We really, not a huge wash, but we want to get that brine solution off of them. And now we're going to put them on this drying rack here. We're gonna put them back in the refrigerator. We want that cold circulated air, and that's gonna dry it out a little bit, and it's gonna form what's called a pellicle. So right now they're a little firm, but still look just like they did when we pulled them out and uh, got them into the brine. You're gonna see something very different when we pull them out of the refrigerator in six or seven hours when they form a pellicle that the smoke will stick to. This has been sitting in the refrigerator for about six hours, uncovered and exposed. So what you see, if you get up close here, is that it's now a little bit tacky. It's not moist anymore, it's still shiny, but there's a sticky surface that started to appear. And that stickiness is what the smoke is gonna adhere to when they put these in the smoker. So we're gonna put these in the big green egg. We've got a big green egg running at 165 degrees outside and it should remain steady. I'll show you all the gear that I use to keep it that way. And then we're gonna smoke these really slowly. We'll be back in a little bit and we'll be making a glaze that we'll put on this. And we're gonna glaze about every hour. It'll take about three hours to come up to the temperature that we want, where it's gonna be at about 145, 150 when we pull it off. It'll come up to 155 with continuation cooking. And this is gonna be some delicious hot salmon that we're gonna have for dinner. We've got the egg running at, uh, looks like 170 degrees. We got it set at 175. The Thermalworks signals and Billows fan combination will keep this within about five degrees, one direction or the other uh, of 165 that it's set at. I'm running uh, Fogo oak charcoal and maple wood in here. And we're gonna go ahead and put the salmon on. This has got four channels. One channel is measuring the dome temperature, and then I'm gonna put these three thermometers into the salmon so that we can actually monitor the temperature of the salmon. So I'm literally just gonna take that rack that we've been using the whole time and put it right here in the middle of the egg. And so I'll put uh, my red probe right here into the middle of the first piece of salmon and maybe my blue one into this one. We're trying to get as close to the center mass as we can. And now we're gonna let that smoke. We'll be back in about an hour to glaze it. Let's go inside and make the glaze, should we? We're gonna make a quick glaze from fresh ingredients. By the way, just because we eat vegans doesn't mean we can't also eat fruits and vegetables. So today, we're gonna work with a fresh pineapple. And the glaze that we're gonna make for the salmon is gonna be a maple pineapple glaze. And we're just gonna core this pineapple. All right, let's pull this out. All right, we got a little bit of it. got a little bit more of the maple syrup that we used. I'm gonna go about half and half maple syrup and pineapple juice here. And it's really that simple. We're just gonna stir this up. And let's go brush some on the salmon. So it's been about an hour. Let's go ahead and give these a quick glaze. A 
And this is that pineapple maple syrup glaze that we made inside with fresh pineapple juice. Don't have to put a lot on. There we go. All right, let's let that come back up to temperature. We'll be back here in about an hour. So it's three and a half hours later since we put the salmon on the big green egg. We smoked it for three and a half hours at 165, 170 degrees. We basted three times with that maple syrup and pineapple glaze that we made. As you can probably see, got a very different color now. We brought out a deep orange. You can really see those healthy fat stripes coming through the salmon. Let's go ahead and break this one open. Oh, look at that. It's done perfectly. It comes right off of the skin. And that's what a piece of salmon done medium looks like. These ones in the middle are probably done a little bit less just because they were a little bit farther from the heat, but you can see from the color what that's gonna taste like. I don't think we should wait any longer, do you? Let's take a taste. Mm. You know, I feel bad for you guys that you don't get to taste this. You should definitely follow this recipe. So good, a nice sweetness from the pineapple. You can taste a little bit of the maple. And uh, you know, this was a little bit of work, putting together the wet brine, brining it overnight, letting it develop the pellicle on the rack, setting up the smoker and smoking it. But boy, I gotta tell you, I think it's worth all that effort. So hopefully you can do as well as I did. You'll get to enjoy this. We'll do another recipe next time on Eat More Vegans.